An American commercial spaceship has blasted off to the International Space Station from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The private space flight, known as Axiom Mission 4, has a crew of four, with astronauts from India, Hungary, and Poland being led by an experienced American commander. The successful launch of this commercial mission to the International Space Station marks a new milestone. Godspeed X4. It's not just the first time in 40 years that astronauts from Poland, Hungary and India have been sent into space. It's the first time ever that astronauts from these three countries have travelled to the ISS. The four-person crew is being led by former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who spoke shortly after liftoff. Nominal orbital insertion of SpaceX, and we had an incredible ride up here, and now we'd like to set our course for the International Space Station aboard the newest member of the Dragon Fleet, our spacecraft named Race. For India in particular, this is a key moment, as it presses ahead with its own space program and prepares for its first crewed mission in 2027. Before the flight, Indian pilot Shubhshansu Shukla said he had hoped to ignite the curiosity of an entire generation. I think I'm excited about all the aspects of this mission, um, starting with the first time that we will be in a position to observe the Earth uh, from a vantage point that only a handful of uh, people on this planet have ever experienced. And um, after that, the uh, experience of floating in microgravity and, you know, everyday activities that seem so simple for us, like walking, sleeping, eating, or, you know, drinking water, they all become very different once you are up in space. So I'm really looking forward to having that experience. The crew is expected to arrive at the ISS on Thursday and spend around two weeks in space, conducting experiments on, among other things, microgravity and diabetes. Well, I'm joined now by Aloke Kumar. He's associate professor at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. Professor, it's good to have you on the program. I mean, I want to get your thoughts on this launch, having an Indian crew member, and I understand you know Shupanchu Shukla personally. Uh, yeah, first, thanks, Brett, for having me here. Uh, yes, we do know, I do know Shubhanshu very well. Uh, he... Uh, we have, I've taught him for some classes. Uh, he's doing his master's at the Indian Institute of Science now, which is still pending. Yeah, I think he'll have to finish it once he comes back. Uh, but uh, we are all very excited at the successful launch, and we are wishing him all the best from here. Yeah, everyone wishing him well, all of them, um, a successful mission. We understand this mission will be doing research on microgravity. So tell us, people who are not in the know, what does microgravity mean? Yeah, so in the on the International Space Station, people, the astronauts basically do not experience any gravity at all. But it's not just the astronauts. It's all the atoms, all the molecules there, they don't ex experience gravity. They experience a very small amount of gravity. That's why we call it microgravity. Uh, it's an important area of research today because we are looking at a, a space age where we are... Uh, humanity is now looking to exploit the positive effects of microgravity on various aspects such as, such as drug development, for bioprinting of uh, uh, organs, for uh, even uh, making new type of materials. Mm -hmm. This is the first time India is going to do experiments in microgravity. There are seven experiments that have been selected. Uh, and, uh, astronaut Shubhanshu Shukla will be doing seven of them uh, on the International Space Station. Uh, and they range from all the way from uh, looking at the effect of microgravity radiation on edible uh, microalgae to the effect of microgravity on the growth and yield parameters of food crops, seeds, mm -hmm. etc. So these, it's a it's a it's a quantum jump for our nation. Well, yeah, exactly. Because if we're going to live in outer space one day, we're definitely going to have to know how to grow food. India, I understand, is also using this mission to um, gain experience for its own orbital space station plans. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, we have, uh, in India, a very, very strong space program. The ISRO has 
there are a lot of work in the past towards uh, human space program and it's doing a lot of work now uh, towards establishing our own space station called the Bharti Antarik station. Uh, it's ISRO is very good at doing all the things uh, in space, but space is a very challenging domain for, and it, it takes the, it, it can uh, fail, the, it can humble the best of us. Mm. So this mission, uh, we're all hoping will also, while it will tell us a lot about how other nations operate in microgravity, it will also tell us how, what are the unknown unknowns in this area? So some of the unknown unknowns, hopefully Shumat will experience. Uh, I understand we have already seen that to some extent. There was so much of a flight delay. This was originally scheduled for May 28th, and it has gotten shifted to uh, such a, uh, in June now, so it happened today. Uh, so we know that space is a very challenging uh, domain. There are a lot of things that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Even the best sometimes fail. So uh, it's a very important learning experience for India right now. And yeah, and you say, you know, it is a big challenge. It's a big challenge for, for any nation. Um, but it has to be reassuring to see this international project. You've got crew members from other countries all working together, considering how geopolitics here on Earth looks sometimes. It's, it's got to, even for a scientist such as yourself, it's got to be a, a reassuring sign. Uh, absolutely. Space is uh, probably one of the few domains uh, which, of science which has brought together warring nations. And uh, it's probably a beacon of peace because uh, we know that in a challenging atmosphere like that, if we do not work together, we will not survive. So, uh, yeah, uh, Shubhanshu himself was extremely excited to mm -hmm. be part of this, uh, you know, multinational uh, group. Uh, he, wa he was very he has, a, he has had a lot of interactions with his European friends. Uh, yeah. he, he has made new European friends there. Uh, he was talking very highly of Peggy, okay. uh, who uh, looks like an extremely accomplished uh, person to be mm -hmm. heading this entire mission. Okay. Aloke Kumar of the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. Aloke, we appreciate your time and we certainly wish them all much success. Thank you. Thank you.